I'm an artist, uh, just to make that clear, and I work with scientists and uh, engineers to sort of imagine different kinds of futures <coughs> and make videos talking about these possible futures based on the technology I work with. The fir first project I'm going to talk to you about is a project that um, I did to explore this um, oftentimes controversial and strange relationship between science, ethics, and mythology and religion. So um, I wonder how many of you have heard of the mythology uh, Red String of Fate in this room. Yeah, it's a very famous mythology in China and Japan that says that two people destined to meet each other romantically have this red string of fate in between them. <coughs> and we all think that's a very mythical thing, right? But as an artist, I wanted to work with scientists to see whether it's possible to recreate such a mythology, the red string of fate. So the video you see here, this is a technology developed by Professor Hideki Sezutsu, and he developed a technology to genetically engineer silkworms. So by adding the DNA of jellyfish and coral into silkworms, the silkworms' eyes glow red and green, and also the silk glows red and green. So basically, by adding different kinds of DNA, he's able to produce silkworms that produce different kinds of silk. So I asked him, can you add a DNA that produces oxytocin? And oxytocin is well known as a social bonding love hormone. And actually, he said, yes, that's possible. We could add a DNA that produces oxytocin in the silk. Also, a DNA that produces um, RFP, red fluorescent protein. And we made, we actually genetically engineered a silkworm that produces oxytocin and the silk glows red. When we were doing this project, we went to speak with Kanda Myojin Shrine, the real mythology experts, obviously, and it's a very, very old shrine in Tokyo, 1300 years old, and they're very known for producing these IT protection spirits. So these protect your computers from viruses and crashes. Very convenient. So, it's interesting how people often think science and religion goes against each other, right? But I grew up in Japan where shrines produce spirits like this to <laughs> protect your computers from crashes. So I wanted to sh do a project that shows um, a diverse perspective on um, science. Like it's not necessarily going against religion. It sometimes could go, like, merge with religion. So. Um, along with the mythology expert and also with Professor Sezutsu, I created this story, this future mythology of the main character who has a big crush on the colleague, genetic engineer. And to win the heart of her colleague, she decides to genetically engineer her own red stringer face in her own lab. So I'm a musician, but I also wrote music. I wrote the script. If you go on YouTube, you could find the video. So, do, do you want to turn the volume? レイヤーホルモン、オキシトシンを作る遺伝子をこの卵に注射すれば恋に落ちる運命の赤い糸生み出せるはず。解雇の目が光れば成功のサインなんだけど。
Okay, so if you want to see the rest of the film, if you go on YouTube and search Sputnik or Red String of Fate, you'll, you'll find the rest of the story. So thank you very much.